Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. That guy's looking good. A riding with scab rendition. A driving along in my automobile rendition. There's the palm of my hand. You know what I'm saying. There's the stop sign. Before we get into this, guys, listen. Let's hit the intro real quick. There was a time in this country, there was a time where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, that number's going down, and I, I, that's important for me to mention. That stat is going down, but anything above zero is unacceptable, like this jackass pulling out here. We back to blue over here. We support Leo to the chagrin of many. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law, and if we do, which we've done, we feel terrible, and more importantly, we take responsibility. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So here's the day, guys. Here's the deal. Here's the day to deal today. Shit. I ain't starting up. Here's the deal. This is what I'm riding with. This is what I'm carrying. This is my Nomad EDC, uh, my work tough gear. It's uh, that Hitachi, I believe it's that 34. Let me see. Probably should pay more attention to this at the stop sign, which I'm sure somebody will point out. Yeah, it's that Hitachi ATS 34. The other couple knives I'm carrying, I always carry a bunch, man. I'm carrying my Medford Praetorian T. And this 90V, uh, that'll probably garner some hate. I really don't give a shit. It's my knife. I like it. it and, and listen, I wear cargo pants. I wear uh, BDU pants. I've never been in the military. But for work, they're comfortable. I wear shorts with pockets. That knife rides comfortably for me. I don't wear tight pants. I don't wear slacks unless somebody's dead or getting married. Same thing. Or I'm going to church. That said, that said. The other thing I'm carrying, I'm carrying two more. Now, I do typically carry four, and, and f I about said a bad word. Listen, it don't matter what you need. I can carry one. I can put a damn butter knife in my pocket and do all I need to do with it. But I like carrying a lot of knives. I wear suspenders. I got a lot of big pockets. There you go. This is, hands down, one of my favorites. Y'all know it is. I, I, it, I haven't parted with it since I've acquired it from Kurt. It is my 0303 from Zero Tolerance, American made, straight up badassery. And finally, I always keep me a little something something kind of put away, just kind of nobody may know about, slide it in my back pocket or something. Not of course when I'm driving. The uh, Work Tough Gear Stinger by Eric Alder. The Nomad EDC is um, designed by my good buddy Zeke Manacho. Message Zeke a little bit this morning. Here's the deal, Lucille. Just want to talk to y'all a few minutes to let you know what's going on in the life of the channel. Can you kiss, Kev? Well, that's probably why you're not subscribed and not important to me. As you can tell, we're going into a bit of a manic mode, so you're going to see a lot of content. But here's the other thing. I'm going to pick up my grandson now for my mom. We're going to eat a little lunch, a little barbecue. And then he and I are going to the trampoline park. Because that's what you do. And there's an asshole. Thank you, asshole. Now look at this asshole. There's two assholes. What are y'all doing, man? For the love of God. Trying to get somewhere. People blowing the horn and being rude. Uh, the world's coming to an end, Scab. I know. I know. I know. I know. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I just want to share some thoughts with you. We put out the Joker Nesmic last night. Um doing okay on the views, but here's the deal, guys. I really want y'all to check that one out. You remember last week or week ago where we did our experiment, where we turned the sound down? I think we did that on the LT right Jesmic. I think if you watch that video compared to this video, you'll see a couple of different things. One, you'll see my comfort level going up with that Nesmic. Now, I am forever saying I am a novice at best. And the whole crowd said, amen, scab. The deal is, guys, when you use a different blade every single day, it's going to take a while to, to acquire that skill set, okay? I feel like my comfort level's coming up, yes, but I have to give credit where credit's due. Now, I am in no way, in no way saying, well, the Joker's better than LT Wright, because I am an LT Wright freak. Same style. I was just blown away by how proficient and efficient the Joker was for that for that four-inch cutting surface, cutting edge, whatever the hell you say. I don't know. 
how proficient it was and how it did everything. Badass knife. Please check that out for me. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And, and guys, here's the deal. You guys absolutely rock when it comes to comments, man. I, 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 I'm very competitive. I don't look like it, but I am. Don't act like it, but I am. I know I'm insanely humble, and you're like, my Lord, Scab, is there anything wrong with you? No, not really. But that's where the humble and humility comes in. But when it comes to like comments, I do look at bigger channels and compare comments, and I'm like, you got more subs, and it's not like a shit talk thing, because I never say anything. It's just the way I feel, because when I look at my channel, it may have a quarter of the subs, and we got double the comments, it makes me feel good. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel all right. Now, we got about three likes, and it makes me feel a certain way, too. But, that being said, a couple quick things. Just wanted to say hello to y'all this morning. I love y'all. I hope you have a great weekend. Here's the deal, guys, and we're going to let it ride. I've got a lot of ideas, man, and I'm trying, I quit, I, I lost, I didn't qu lose, I left the Haunted Ass Church to free up more time to do focus more on the channel. That hasn't happened because of the job I'm in. I'm thankful for the job I'm in, I'm working, everything's going good there, the guys are great. But this is my heart, and this is my passion, and this is where I want to be. So my goal going forward is to figure out a way where I can focus on this. I'll always work. So before anybody says anything dumbass, let me explain something to you. I have worked on the books since I was 15 years old. I started actually helping my grandfather with his land clearing business at 13 years old. Now, obviously I'm not gonna drive a bulldozer cause y'all seen me drive a car at 13. He let me play on it, but I burned stumps. I picked up, I did that point is, from the time I was 22 till just a few months ago, I worked two jobs. I work. I believe in working. I believe in working hard and doing the best you can and earning your shit. Just like I always say, using my shit. And let me say this about the that hashtag use your shit. I don't say use your shit. I said mine. I don't care what you do with yours. Turn out some bitch sideways. Well, never mind. I really don't. If you're a collector, I'd love to see your collection. Dead serious, man. There are some guys who just have some awesome ass knives. Having said all of that, <clears throat> we're bringing the focus back. Yesterday, Kirk and I went out. We started working on the outdoor studio. Got it? Coming. All right. I am going to start a weekly series on work tough gear where we focus on one work tough gear night. We might do some head to heads. That's coming. But there's going to be like a work tough gear Wednesday or something. Okay, that's going to happen. I want to showcase work tough gear. And and like I said, this EDC, this Nomad EDC and this Stinger, they are legit on me 24-7. A lot of times with the demonstrations, y'all know I just pick up the knife. It is not a review. The work tough gear series will be long-term reviews, give you long-term thoughts, etc. That's one thing. The other thing is this, blade talk. We're firing up in earnest. This Tuesday, Brandon Thrasher will be on. Guys, Wednesday, I'm going to be on a podcast, and I'll have to get you the name of it. Pretty big outreach. It's not in the knife community. I'm nervous as shit. It's a buddy of mine. He's got a big podcast. He's invited me on to share some stories, do that kind of stuff. Y'all, please think of me there. I'm scared to death. Thursday, I will be going on with Lefty's EDC. Yes, shit stain McChopper Horse and Finger Bang McTwinkle Toes will be together live on Lefty's EDC Thursday night. We're trying to get Matisfaction on. We're trying to get a lot of guys on. Blade Talk's firing up. We're doing a Work Tough Gear series. We're going to our outdoor studio. Last thing, Ken Faulkner. Ken is a guy in the community that's an awesome guy. He comments on every video. Ken actually, thank you my brother, Ken actually today confirmed to me or reaffirmed why I do the videos the way I do the videos. Again, are they the best way to do it? For me, yes, at this point in time. But Ken made the comment, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pin it. Had I not seen the other videos of this style knife struggling a bit, I wouldn't have known how well this knife performed. That is the, the whole reason 
We do the same tests, same demos. I do need to change the narrative up a bit. Um, we'll start doing some different narration and, and mixing it up on that. We're going to cut out certain terms that I just rehash all the time. But we're moving forward. And Ken, again, thank you. Well, guys, listen. I'm about to pull up, give me some barbecue. I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. I hope he does. And, hey, I know not everybody believes in that. So for those of y'all that don't, uh, I hope the universe gives you a handy. I don't know. I'm stabbed. You're not. And I'm gone, son. <laughs>